Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Steve Mum. Nice to have you here this hour. We are in location, uh, the City Council Chambers in Spokane City Hall. My guest this hour, Steve Cervantes, Executive Director of the Spokane Housing Authority. Steve, nice to have you here again. Thank you very much for yeah, having me. Uh, good to talk to you about. Uh, good to talk to you again. And you know, like any issue, uh, a lot of economic difficulties with the economy. I, I know that puts a dent in affordable housing, but there's also some some bright spots there. But kind of bring us up to date. I, I know about three years ago we lost lost an awful lot of affordable housing, particularly in the downtown areas, things sort of gentrified, and, uh, and but you've dealt with that. Right. Spokane Housing Authority, along with many competing partners, have been involved in actively promoting and developing affordable housing. So I believe that we're about par right now with what was lost, but at the same time, while we get at par, the demand keeps on growing. So we, we need more affordable housing, and we need a lot of the existing affordable housing upgraded and reinvested in so that it'll give many of our clients more choices. Mm. Uh, and you're saying a, a lot of the, the rental properties oftentimes are absentee owners, not always in the community? Not always in the community. There, there's many who have probably paid off their, their property years ago and right now they're, they're just collecting the rental amount and there's there's not as much incentive for them to be able to reinvest in the property, bring it up mm -hmm. to standard. Mm -hmm. But the good news is, and I did not realize this, the Spokane uh, Housing Authority can help. You said the vacancy rate's pretty high here. It is. Uh, but for uh, a landlord that would want to get that unit occupied, talk about uh, the incentives that you can provide to help them get someone in the door. Well, the incentives are that we pay uh, the portion of, of the housing assistance, uh, the rental assistance. Uh, the client pays 30% of their income, so if they only get $100 a month, they pay $30 a month, and we pay the difference to the landlord. And we make a direct deposit, pay it monthly, on time, uh, so there's benefits. Uh, rather than having a, a vacant unit, the landlord could be able to be collecting income mm -hmm. and so we encourage any landlords that are be interested in the program to contact us and our we have our website uh, spokanehousing.org and we can be able to channel them to the appropriate party. Yeah, and I bet that's news uh, to a lot of people that that benefit is available. And I think you said the good news is you, you replaced a lot of the affordable housing that was lost, but unfortunately, economic downturn can have had a, a good impact on the whole the whole supply. We did. Um, we, we, we met what was lost, even though I think what was lost is still vacant in many cases. Uh, the properties and so there's a need to, to reinvest in some of those properties at the same time We have had many of our partners develop new housing uh, good quality housing and, and it's there for another 40 plus years mm -hmm. Well, excellent uh, you you mentioned an interesting thing about uh, a lot of times I think we think perhaps of low-income housing as a partner uh, as apartments or multifamily But talk about what you actually find out there from tenants in, in the program well, again, what we offer the subsidy, and depending on their family size, they can qualify for one, two, three, four bedroom uh, apartment or house. And it's up to them that, that we issue a voucher, then the tenant goes out and finds their unit. And it could be a single family house, it could be a duplex, or an apartment. And so what we encourage uh, the applicants, the tenants who receive that voucher, to hurry up and find their unit because the, the sad part is we have clients that wait for up to five years or, or longer before they get that voucher. That voucher can be like a, a lotto, lotto ticket. Uh, it's valuable and we find that only about 50% of our those receiving a voucher actually find a unit and rent up. Wow, so they've been on a waiting list for five up to five years right. in some cases. Okay, got that. I, I hate to end on a down note, but of course, uh, the state funding to the Housing Authority has got to be taking a hit with the state budget cuts. Uh, the state has had a tough time. They just came out with a new budget yesterday. And what we find is many of the housing programs and social service programs have been cut. Uh, for instance, we have many, you know, and I hate, I hate to, so I assume that means you're going to have to take up the slack. We're just about to run out of time here. That means we're going to have to take up the slack. Um, okay. Well, we wish you well. We appreciate thank you very the much. service you're providing. Hope landlords hear about your program. Stay tuned. CNN, headline news, top of the hour.